Good morning, everyone. This is Bonnie from Bonnie's Bargain, and I'm on my way to get gas this morning from Sam's. Yes, I am half a tank, and I don't ever let it get below a half a tank. I have a thing about that in case of emergencies or whatever. But anyway, I just did my giveaway a few minutes ago. Yay, my Alabama farm life, Kathleen. She won, and I did go uh, into her channel subscription, and she is subscribed to me. So I'm just waiting for her to send me the address, and I will be mailing that out to her today. Hopefully, if I get her address in time. The other thing is, some uh, questions came my way, and so I thought I'd share those with you so you could get to know me better. Um, and then I'll tell you some things going on in my world. Okay, the first question that came, it said, do you have any siblings? No, I do not. I do not have any brothers or any sisters. And I always wanted a brother or sister. But, um, yeah. So, nope. I'm the only child. And I'm not spoiled either, just to let you know. I'm not. And the next question was, how old are you? Well, I'm older than dirt, almost. I um, turned 68 this year. Um, my birthday is on April the 10th, 1953. And um, that's one thing my mom gave me for sure was life. And so, yep, 68 years old. And it says, are you retired? Yes, oh yes, and let me tell you something. There is nothing no better than being retired. It is as good as sliced bread. I'm going to tell you nothing like it. Mm. Whew. Yeah, I'm retired. I was uh, a civil servant for um, 30 years. And I retired at Hill Air Force Base in Utah as a flight chief. But... Because of this job, working uh, with the government, I was able to travel all over the world, and I've been so thankful for that. I lived in Japan, I lived in Germany, but I traveled all of Europe, a lot of Asia, got to go to Ireland uh, on vacation, Australia, Spain, Africa, so I've had a really good life in that aspect. Got to see the world, meet so many wonderful people. Wouldn't change it for the world. I definitely have to tell you some stories though that um, about traveling abroad that, yeah, a little different, a little scary at times, but I'll have to share some of those with you. The other thing is, what are your hobbies? My favorite thing is reading. And one of my YouTubers wrote me about a book that I'm reading right now, and it's Lying Lies of Adults. Yes, Lying Lies of Adults. And oh, I'm getting into that book, and you can't put it down. So um, I'm actually going to join with this YouTuber a Zoom meeting that they uh, have, oh, I guess you call it a get together and they discuss the book. So I gotta hurry and finish it, but it is good. So I'm excited not only about reading the book, but getting to go on a Zoom meeting with all these people that's read the book and us discuss it, what we think about it. And so see what YouTube has done. You meet so many uh, people and you get to do things outside of YouTube. And so, yeah, that's that's going to be my next adventure. And again, um, love to read. And so, she's brought that into my life. And so, yep, that's the next thing I'll be doing. And, whoops, I'm waiting on this car. Sorry, guys. So, yes, that's, that's my, my favorite hobby is reading. And I love fishing. Oh, but I love fishing in, in the south. And that's because they have what is called cane pole fishing. And you do it with a cane pole and worms or crickets. And you have a bobber. And so the bobber lets you know when you're getting a nibble or a bite. And then they have jug fishing, 
where you're in a boat and you got the motor going and you throw out these jugs and they have a big line and then you put, uh, oh, I don't know what those things are called now. I'm sorry, can't think of the name, but it's the things that you kids swim with now and they sort of uh, flop over on them and just kick their feet. They're, they're way long, I can't, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't think of the name. But anyway, so yeah, you and you, you put that, and so that with the bright colors, you throw the jugs out, and then you go fish, and then you come back and you pick up the jugs, and you can spot them by the long things that are in bright colors. But I enjoy fishing where you actually catch the fish. And back in the day, my mom and dad, the avid fishermen, and fish women, fisher women, and we'd go fishing and then we'd go home and they taught me how to scale fish, how to gut fish, and then we'd have a fish fry. They'd have a fish fry and we'd uh, cook the fish, do tater tots. Mom and make a, uh, some kind of salad, potato salad. My mom knew how to make potato salad. But anyway, so we'd have a fish fry and we'd sit back and those are just memories I'll never forget with my mom and dad. So um, it says, the next question is, what makes me happy? What makes me happy? And everybody says, well, mostly everybody, your family. But getting away from family, I have to say YouTube. Every morning I wake up and let me tell you, if you are a true YouTuber, you don't have a moment to breathe that keeps you really busy yeah it makes your day go by so fast especially doing giveaways and then watching other people's youtubes and making comments and then getting new subscribers it um i'm glad i'm retired because it really is like a full-time job and why do i do it oh my goodness it is definitely not for income you don't even get income till i think you have a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours i'm not even close to that the reason i do it is because like i said i've met so many wonderful wonderful people and i wouldn't take anything for that so yep yep and uh they've put a lot of rainbow in my clouds i tell you a lot of rainbows in my clouds so uh youtube yep that's what makes me happy um, how long have you been married? Oh my goodness. Okay. Don't judge here. Do not judge. I've been married three times. First time, uh, we were married almost 10 years. And he is the... Okay, sorry, I went to McDonald's and got me a large Coke and some fries. So I'll munch with you on the way. I'm sorry. I'm starving. I haven't eaten all day. And it's 1230 my time. But anyway... Like I said, don't judge me. I've been married three times, and uh, my first husband, uh, are the, the, he's the biological father of my two daughters, Misty and April. And then uh, I was married a uh, second time uh, for almost 10 years. And then the third time, which is Ed and the charm, is uh, 20, it's either 26 or 27 years. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and then so I've been married all my life, it seems. But okay, so um, is your mom and dad alive? No, nope. I nope. I won't talk about that one. I I miss them so much. Yep. So nope. Um. Next one, how do you get through tough times? Oh, thank you, God. I get through tough times through my faith and through God. And let me tell you, had a lot of travels just like everybody else, man. But I tell you what, one thing I'm, I'm working on is, um, and this is brought up all the time and it's so true, but the human side kicks in is fears. You know, what's your fear? And, you know, it really says, let all that stuff go. Like when I had the cancer, it really scared me. And, and then the, the brain seizures and all that. Um, and I, 
you know, you just need to let that stuff go, let go, let God. And I'm getting so, so much better than that. Because to be honest with my faith, um, if I passed, I'm going to a good place. And so I don't want to get in on the religion kick, but that's very, very important to me is, and really it, it's not even religion. It's just about for me, God. And um, I'm so blessed and God has blessed me. And um, he knows my faith and he knows my heart. So enough said about that. Thank you, God. And thank you, Jesus. Okay, so were you popular in school? No, I was not. Um, was I bullied? Maybe a little bit. I had, I was a skinny girl. I weighed like 90 something pounds and I didn't have the fancy clothes or the fancy hair because I was from a poor family and uh, nope, I, I wasn't in, but I will tell you what, um, I was I was truly blessed though because I got to hang around the popular kids and then the non-popular kids. I sort of hung with both. And that was a blessing and, and it taught me a lot. It taught me a lot about life, about people, and you know, you can't judge people. You just can't judge people because you don't know what they're going through and um, of course I all this stuff through. This is things my mom and dad taught me or tried to teach me. Um, my mom and dad was very humble people, good people, poor people, but we had everything we needed. I mean, never went homeless or anything like that. But, um, was that? But you know what? I will say, what being from being popular, but I was from a a small, small town called Clayton, Alabama. And really the only thing for girls was being a cheerleader. And I was, those were some of my best memories. I was a cheerleader with skinny legs and all. And um, I was thankful for that because that got me involved with that little town and and I learned a lot about, girl, you want to talk about basketball, football, here, here's the person. Huge Alabama fan, by the way. College. Alabama Crimson Tide Roll Tide. Oh, can't say enough about Alabama. That's my team. Yes. And I love football. I don't watch that much. But when Alabama comes on, I am glued to that station. Mm, yes. I go, and you guys probably, I go all the way back to Bear Bryant and then Auburn University, Sugar, uh, oh, his name was, oh my goodness, I can't, sorry, it, I do this, and I apologize, I, Jordan, I, Sugar Jordan, I, but anyway, he was University of Auburn, and I always pull for Auburn unless they play for Alabama, but yeah. But nope, I was I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't a popular girl. No, no, I wasn't. Um, what kind of jobs have I done in my lifetime? Hardest job I have ever done in my life is being a waitress. Oh, uh, but you know what? Again, all these are so many memories because you learn so much and you learn people and whew, but it was hard work my and it was called the bs cafe bns cafe yeah and that was in the little town of clayton alabama there wasn't that many jobs available and then i worked one time at like a dollar it wasn't called the dollar store but it was dollar something and I don't remember what it was, Dollar General, something like that. And woo, we were busy, but I moved up to Assistant General Manager. And so when the manager went on vacation, I got to run the store and I learned a lot about paper paperwork and math, because I never was good in math. But that lady that was the manager, she taught me so much, so much. 
and then I was a secretary for uh, someone that uh, built homes prices better built homes I think was the name of it and so I worked for them and people would come in and I'd show them the house and um, houses for sale and go over prices and then if they were interested then I would take them over uh, to to a guy and um, that that his father owned the business and he would meet with them and then um, if necessary I'd type up paperwork and all that and then I got into civil service and stayed there the rest of my life and that was a blessing because uh, like when you I didn't make much money at the make when you first started and I got into their uh, thrift savings and 401k whatever you want to call it and uh, I was blessed because uh, they added so much to it and I know a lot of companies don't do that and everything's different since I retired but I God bless me with this job because um, it also gave me an opportunity to go to college and I'll go all the way, well, not all the way, a bachelor's degree, and then I started my master's, and then I was so old, I was like, you know what? If experience don't get me where I need to be by now. So I did go for the master's program, but I was single at that time and had two children, and then I held another job, and it was just too much way too much and so yeah I didn't get my master's but I was in the master's program so there you go and I'm at Sam's about to get some gas so I'll go but I'll talk to you next time you know what thanks for hanging out with me now you know a little bit more about me and don't judge me do not judge me mm -mm. so I'll talk to you guys later and you guys have a good day bye